Hello, community. So, you ever see something that's not necessarily gonna gonna change things, but it's just cool that you think, hey, this is a cool cool thing, but it's something that you're necessarily not gonna change the way we do things. And that is what UBI Interactive has done. They're basically a graduate from, you know, the whole Connect Accelerator program. And so what they've done is basically they develop software for the Connect for Windows and using a projector on your computer to basically you can project a screen anywhere and use it. You can project a screen on your wall and you can touch it and interact with it with the connect and with the projector and yet of course the connect that is of course the projector has to the connect has to be able to see the projector screen that's the big thing like it has to be able to see the projector obviously if it doesn't this doesn't work and you're probably asking, well, how much does this cost? And they do have a YouTube video, which is in the article. I'm going to link the two articles below. Both of them have a link to the YouTube video to see it. For those wondering, it's as cheap as a 45-inch display with single-touch capability is only $150. Or if you want to go for the really expensive license, the business license, or the enterprise license in this case, it's for a 100-inch display and it has 20 touch points. So the most this thing does is 20 touch points. So that's $1,500 and it comes with one year free updates. Now they have said in the, their article that basically this does not use the Connect SDK. This is something that they developed themselves. And why it's a cool device, our business is actually going to use this. Now it's not incredibly expensive. The Connect's not incredibly expensive. You know, our projectors, a lot of businesses already have it, but do they really want to go through the hassle of their, like, okay, their IT team has, IT team has to set this thing up, and then is it really going to add anything? Can't you just do it with a projector and a point device? You could probably do the same thing. Sure, you won't have the interactive, let's flip this map around, or let's do this and do that, but do they really need it? That's the question with this. It's a cool little... Oh, this is a cool thing, but it's a cool thing that after 15 minutes you go, okay, that was cool, but I really don't need to use this. Now, developing this technology for the future, cool thing. A lot of companies right now are developing this. They're not the only ones. Even Microsoft themselves with their whole projector things for the supposedly the Xbox One, which, again, the problem I have with these devices, like, okay, the Xbox One, if they do come out with their whole projector for the Xbox One, right? It has to be a device that scales, right? This The problem with the last connect, to be honest with you, it was how many people had a room that big to actually be able to play the connect to its optimal level. A lot of people bought the device that basically went over the camera and tricked it, thinking you were further away than you were. And so why this is cool, that yeah, okay, a kid on his bedroom wall can play Angry Birds. But are you willing to pay 150 bucks for that to do that? Plus the connect for Windows? And get a projector if you don't have one? No. I got plenty of devices to play this. Again, it's a cool thing to play with. It's a cool thing, you know, as a tech guy to sit somewhere and have this and play with this device, but this technology, but we don't really need it. Again, I think it's cool. I think further development down the road might be a cool thing, but anytime I've ever played with this stuff or people I know play with this stuff, it's kind of like, Hey, that's cool. And then after you do it one time and you never use it again, right? How many times on your 360 with all of the different apps? How many Macs do you use? Most people would say, "Well, you know what? I use, I use Netflix, and I use Hulu Plus. Maybe some people say HBO, and that's about it." I mean, the Connect to me has kind of become like a Wii to me. I have a Connect in my house, but I don't use it very often, so. What do you think about the software? Do you think it's kind of cool? Would you use it? Do you think, okay, it's cool for development in the future? Or do you just think, you know what? I don't care. It's a gimmick to me. We'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for all you guys subscribing, liking the videos, watching, and later.